Hello, Diamond Bar High School, Brahmas. I am Kevin Patterson, GLC, for the great senior class of 2021 here at Diamond Bar High School. I'm joined by my colleagues as we review our expectations of you for this school year. Each year, we complete this due process meeting with our classes. This year, we're completing it virtually. We will review the Diamond Bar High School policies, rules, and our expectations of you. My GLC colleagues are Mrs. Duenas, my partner with the great senior class of 2021. The junior class GLCs, Mr. Desmond and Mrs. Brummett. The sophomore class GLCs, Mrs. Burns and Mr. Gonzalez. The freshman class GLCs, Mrs. Otten Zimmerman and Mr. Natividad, and the Pathways Communication Academy Director and GLC, Mrs. Salas. At this time, I'm gonna turn it over to my partner, Mrs. Duenas. All right, Brahmas, hello and welcome back. I am Mrs. Duenas, class of 2021 at GLC. Uh, we hope that you've had a great first week back at school and that you're feeling ready to tackle the school year. Um, we're gonna start with some reminders to ensure some online success for you. Um, so first things first, you should be logging into your student Gmail accounts every day. Um, you should know by now that you're doing that by, you're accessing that by using your student ID at stu.wbusd.org. Um, use that daily, okay? And along with that, your student Gmail account, it is so crucial that you guys use that especially during distance learning to communicate with the staff members, with your GLCs, your teachers, anyone on campus that you need to communicate with. We are getting inundated with emails. And, and if you use that Gmail account, it really ensures that we get that email and that we know that we're communicating with you. Um, make sure that you're logging in five minutes before each class, okay? Just being ready, having that browser open, have your Zoom link or Google Meet link open and ready to go so that you're not um, late to those classes, just being ready for each class as, as it comes. Um, and then making sure that your camera's on, okay, so that your teachers can see you, that you're engaged and participating in the lessons, um, and that your mic is muted, um, making sure that you're muting your mic to be courteous to your peers and respectful to your teachers. Um, and then if you have questions or want to engage in the conversation somehow, using that chat feature or um, the raise your hand feature. Um, just be aware that if you're having a private chat in any of those Google virtual classroom meetings, those chats are visible to the host of the meeting. So please be mindful of what you're saying in the chat. And then lastly, we just want you guys to be aware that students who are disruptive, um, or trespass into the virtual learning sessions, they're, they're gonna receive appropriate consequences. And that's in, in accordance with our WVUSD acceptable use policy. Um, and this could be consequences that would result in you losing your privilege to attend those virtual lessons. So be mindful of that, behave the way that we would expect you to behave and um, continue on learning in the virtual environment. Mr. Patterson, I'm gonna pass it back to you for a few other notes. All right, just to reiterate, to be checking your Gmail daily and use that for all school communication. It's very, very important that you're using that to log in. And check your web pages, your, your individual class web pages. You know, in this virtual distance learning format, the, the primary way we get to communicate with our students is through our web pages, email and web pages. So it should be a standard practice that you check the web pages daily, your email daily. Follow Dime Bar High School dress code, even though we're virtual learning, we still be dressed appropriately for online learning. And a new fancy Dan word, netiquette, be kind, wait your turn, be present and be engaged in your class every day. You can't be distracted. Don't type in all caps, for example, that looks like you're angry and you don't want to send the wrong message. Don't create memes or do anything inappropriate. In a nutshell, just don't be a knucklehead. Now, next on the O agenda is Mr. Natividad and Mrs. Otten. 
Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Um, Mr. Natividad and I are the GLCs for the freshman class, and we're so excited to welcome you guys to Diamond Bar. Um, as we go through the next couple slides, these are the expectations we have for behavior. Um, it's really important, especially in distance learning, and we will reiterate when we get back to campus some of these things, but um, everybody's expected to just do the right thing, and um, learning is important every day. So um, attendance, <laughs> kind of funny, but attendance, you're expected to be here. You're expected to be on the computer, dressed and ready to go at 8 o'clock for your classes. Um, if you are absent, uh, absent for any reason, your parent can call the school. There is an after hours number on the slide and or call the regular uh, business line of the, during the day. Um, so you need to be in class every day and if you have any issues, you can email your teacher about that particular period if you have technology issues. But um, oversleeping is not an excused absence. It's time to start adjusting your body clocks to meet the school hours. We know that a lot of you are up at many hours of the night, um, but it's time to get to bed early and it's time to get ready for class by eight o'clock. Um, tardies, this tardy policy, it falls right in line with our regular school tardy policy. So this um, hasn't changed, um, but there are no excused tardies. And so um, again, communication with your instructor is important, but um, tardies one through three, is a teacher discussion and they are kind of an emergency tardy if you have had an issue those one through three should cover that without any consequence um, tardies four through six is when the glc's start getting involved and um, on campus that would be a detention but we will have a discussion with you and, and what is happening and why you're tardy um, at the at, if we get to seven and above a pattern has started with tardies and so you guys need to really work on that but that's when we would have a parent conference and try and figure out what's happening and how we can remedy it so um, we do have and will have consequences if we get hit a pattern of tardiness so please make sure you guys are up and ready to go and cheating. We hate to talk about this, but you guys are in a place right now where, um, especially virtual learning, that you need to do the right thing. You need to have the good behavior. You need to have the respect for yourself to be prepared for class every day. Um, cheating is not tolerated. Any plagiarism, copying of work, uh, violating testing conditions, you all need to be good humans right here and make sure that you are prepared with your coursework. Um, if we have a, a cheating incident or a violation of testing conditions or plagiarism, uh, the first time will be a warning contract that we will sign along with you and your parent, and you will get a zero on the assignment from your instructor. If there's a second violation, um, it could lead to a suspension from class and any other number of things, but you want to make sure that you are doing the right thing and being prepared for class every day. So you guys got this, um, welcome back. And um, I'm gonna pass it off to my awesome partner, Mr. Natividad. Hello, Brahmas. Uh, Mr. Natividad here, GLC for the class of 2024. Um, you know, I, I have the privilege of talking to you guys about some very serious things now so that hopefully we never have to have these conversations in the future. And these are things that we consider um, that we have zero tolerance for. Things that if you do, uh, you will be suspended and could be even expelled from the Walnut Valley Unified School District. Um, those include causing, attempted to cause, or threatening physical injury, possession of a weapon or dangerous object, possession of, use of, or selling a controlled substance or alcoholic beverage and related items. If you offer to or help arrange or negotiated a sale, it's the same thing. We have zero tolerance for those things. Um, another big one is intimidation, um, any types of threats, cyberbullying, sexual harassment. None of those things are tolerated at Diamond Bar High School. And all of them um, will not only be a conversation with us and our assistant principal, uh, but will lead to um, a suspension and, as I said, possible recommendation for expulsion. And the last one on there, um, theft or possession of stolen goods. As I said, um, we're talking to you about this now in the hopes of never having to talk to you about this in terms of something um, that you've done. And with that, I'm going to pass it off to uh, Ms. Burns and Mr. Gonzalez.
Hi, everyone. I'm Mrs. Burns, one of the GLCs for the class of 2023. Mr. Gonzalez and I are going to be talking to you about some miscellaneous information. All of us were super excited about seeing all of our students this summer, even if it meant just a half of you uh, with those masks on and everything, but it was really good to see everyone. Um, we are continuing to be accessible to you. Um, we are always there from 8 to 2.30 at the very minimum. You can always email us and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. We do have office hours from 1 to 2.30 every day and each team has a different platform for that. So you can read about that in your um, newsletters that you get from your GLC. And of course, you can call and email to schedule appointments and we will um, again be accessible that way as well. Let's talk about schedule changes and the fact that Ah, we don't wanna do <laughs> schedule changes, right? So you guys pick these schedules in March, hoping that you guys are adjusting to them. This is week one, um, but we know that sometimes, um, you know, things have to change. And so if it's absolutely necessary um, to do a schedule change, we can do it if, if need be. We are not doing elective changes, okay? We're not doing them at all. So there are no elective changes. You pick this, like we said, back in March, we talked about it in summer. So these are our schedules. If you are um, wanting to drop an elective, the only option at this point would be a TA um, spot. So give it a chance, guys. Um, hopefully you're enjoying it or getting used to those classes at this point in time. As far as level changes, um, so let's say you're, you're, you find yourself in a position where um, the class is too difficult, please reach out to your teachers, talk with them, Try to do everything you can you know to, to stay in those classes if you find yourself in a position where you feel like you just need you can't take that class and it's too hard and you have your parent permission you can reach out to us to do um, a level change but it's based on availability so if there is room in the class you're changing to so exam for example if you're trying to change from english two honors to english two um, obviously we will try to make that happen as long as there's room in that english two class um, class change policy, if you want to know specifics about our class change policy, you guys can check out page 13 in your student handbook. It's also on the drop down menu under students on our dbhs.org um, website as well. We do have an online form. So if you are requesting a schedule change for any of the reasons I talked about um, before, we have a online form. If you go to dbhs.org, it is right under the reminders. Fill out that form. Your um, thing consent that you hope we have parent permission and that will be um, given to your GLC. With that, I'll turn it over to Mr. Gonzalez. Hello guys, this is Rich Gonzalez, class of uh, 2023. Uh, it's, uh, it's, been a, it's been a start of our online learning for the week and uh, it does create some problems on both ends, not just your side, but also the teacher sides, but be patient as we, as we work and navigate through this first month. Uh, a couple successful online learning tips. Uh, please complete all your homework. Uh, create a time or a block of time after class, after you get something uh, to eat. If you're not visiting the tutorial, uh, please create some time in the afternoon and evenings to complete your homework. Um, if you have any questions involving your homework and you find that it's difficult for you to complete it, uh, please go back around to the tutorial and reach out to your teachers. Uh, they are there for you in case you do have any questions or, or, or problems uh, with your assignments. Uh, another thing is set up uh, your task uh, daily with uh, minimal distractions. And what that means is uh, try to cre create an atmosphere at your home. I get it. You have other siblings that are on Zooms that are taking care of their classwork. And then we also have parents that are home and they are working from home. So you want to make sure that you have a spot in the home that uh, hopefully in, in, a, in a room that you can put up uh, some form of, hey, do not disturb. I'm in the middle of biology class. So just trying to find some spots on, on, in your house so that you can be distraction free. Uh, taking notes and participating in class. This is one that, uh, you know, when we are in class, raising your hand and asking questions or being uh, a participant is difficult. And now that you're online, it makes it kind of easier for you not to, to raise a hand. So if you can participate with the teachers, the teachers need your feedback. They don't know if you're getting the um, information and if you're just sitting there with uh, looking at blank screen or a blank face, uh, they don't know if you're getting it or not. So please continue to participate in the classroom setting. Uh, make sure you check your grades, uh, check on areas. 
if there's a discrepancy with an assignment that you feel that you've either um, that you feel like you've earned points for, uh, don't hesitate to reach out to your teachers. Uh, technical difficulties, it, it, it probably will happen at one point. And so if that is the case, please uh, be patient. Uh, if you can click back on, just let the teacher know that, hey, I've had some internet issues. Uh, if for some reason you're out for an extended period of time and it runs into the next period, please again, during tutorial, reach back around to uh, those teachers and give them a heads up of what occurred um, on your end. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to send it over to Mr. Desmond, Mrs. Brummett, and Mrs. Salas. Hello, Brahmas, and welcome back. I'm Mrs. Salas, Pathways GLC. I want to spend just a couple minutes and talk about wellness. One of the first things I wanted to talk to you guys about is getting enough sleep and being reasonable and realistic to what that really looks like. So I don't want to lecture you about it. I just want to say, on average, like, nine plus hours might be something good to shoot for. That way you can wake up in the morning feeling refreshed with enough time that you can get yourself camera ready and maybe have um, a bite to eat and organize your workspace before you need to log on for class. Speaking about workspace and Mr. Um, Gonzalez also shared how important it is and hopefully you've either found that comfortable place or you're working on Finding a place, whether it be in your bedroom, a little um, space on the kitchen or dining room table, where this can be your specific workplace for school. And that's the only thing that you would do there would be be in school and be present for school. So a place that's comfortable, both physically and emotionally, where you can kind of relax and then focus on school. Um, limited distractions, so think about like no TV and even giving your cell phone a rest. With that said, um, I wanna ask all you guys to please make the most of the virtual passing periods and the virtual break. Um, you've all heard of Zoom fatigue and it's real. Our brains work a little differently with virtual platforms than they do with like in-person meetings. So we don't get a lot of those verbal cues like body language things and virtual platforms. So our brain works a little different to maybe try to decipher what's going on at a particular moment. So maybe we get a little, little fatigued, a little tired. So during the um, virtual passing period and the virtual breaks, so challenge yourself to give yourself a mental, a visual, and a physical break. So by getting up, stretching, maybe taking some deep breaths, going outside, getting a little sunshine, um, things like that. Anyway, um, well, once again, welcome back, and I'd like to introduce Ms. Brummett. Hello everyone, I'm Mrs. Brummage, you'll see for the class of 2022. Hello juniors. Um, continuing with what Mrs. Salas was talking about, we want you to move your bodies every day. We are all sitting down a ton right now and that's not great for us. So we want you to be intentional about scheduling in exercise, but that's gonna look different for everyone. Some of you are runners. Um, some of you have pools in your backyard and you can go swimming. If you have a dog, please walk your dog every day. It's good for you and it's good for your dog. Uh, some of you are dancers, choreograph some new routines. And if you're not a dancer, throw a dance party in your kitchen, just get moving. Um, there's tons of great videos on YouTube. Um, there's yoga videos, like some at-home boot camp workouts that you guys can do. Um, but please exercise, it's so good for your body and your mind. And another thing that, would happen naturally in a normal school year is you would be getting outside a lot. In between classes, you'd be walking to your next class. Um, you go to practice after school. Some of you walk to and from school. That's not happening right now. So you need to think, have I been outside today? And if the answer is no, get yourself outside. As humans, we are not meant to be inside all day. It's very confusing for our brains when we don't get enough fresh air and sunshine, vitamin D. Getting outside for just 15 to 20 minutes, it can double your energy, enhance your creativity, improve your focus, and it will improve your mood. It will make you feel happier. If you stay inside all day, you're gonna have the opposite effect. Anxiety levels are gonna rise. Um, you might have trouble sleeping at night. Um, your mood's gonna be affected in a negative way. So when's the best time to get outside? 
schedule time before class even starts. So get yourself ready, just like you would if you came onto campus, right? You'd be outside, walk into your first class, get outside for 10, 15 minutes in the morning, wake your body up, wake your brain up, get that sunshine, get that fresh air and help you start out your day right. After classes are over, free your mind and your body from that chair and that computer, take a walk. If, if it's 104 degrees outside, maybe wait for the evening, um, but get moving and get some fresh air. When you're outside, quick tip for you guys. Um, I want you to practice something called mindfulness. And mindfulness, it, it can be a struggle in the beginning. It takes some time to kind of train your brain to calm down and um, be more mindful. But when you're spending time outside, try to push away all of those thoughts about which assignments you have due next or um, you know, what's ahead for you in the next class or the you know, 15 DMs you haven't responded to on Instagram yet. Focus on what you can hear, the noises you can hear outside, focus on your breathing, focus on being present in the moment. And that will really help relax your mind. If you do that before you go to sleep, it'll help you sleep better too. So try to do this like two or three times a day for about five minutes at a time. Um, and a quick plug here, we are gonna be rolling out a new program in September that we're calling Wellness Wednesdays. And we're gonna be sending out lots of little quick tips and things like this and different activities and resources for you guys um, just to help improve and keep you guys strong and healthy, both mentally and physically. And so with that, I wanna pass it off to my partner, Mr. Desmond. All right, party people, this is Mr. Desmond, hello. And uh, I'm the junior uh, GLC for the mighty class of 2022. And we miss you guys. And, and this last piece I'm gonna talk about is socializing. It's so important that we spend time uh, interacting with each other. If you think about it, in a typical school day, you wave to your buddies when you see them in the hallways. You sit down and you talk to that person in class. You walk with your buddy to the next class. You sit down and have lunch with your friends. And unfortunately, all that is on hold. And so, uh, but we still need it. We're social animals. And so we still need that socialization. So it's imperative that you make time for that. Whether it's phone calls, Zoom meetings, uh, some, some way of meeting online, but you've got to find some way to spend time together. And I would suggest spending every lunch during the school week together with your buddies, just like you would when you're here. In the same way, uh, there are a lot of events we're missing out on, things that we look forward to. And so much of happiness in life is looking forward to things, looking forward to that big game, looking forward to that concert you've prepared for, looking forward to that great club activity. All these things, unfortunately, are on hold right now, but we still need things to look forward to. And so we've got to create that online. And it's a little different, but, but you can create that. You can schedule meetups with old friends. Uh, you can play all sorts of online games. Just last night, uh, my wife and I played code names for free with our daughters who are out of town. And it was great, great way to catch up with them and, and see everybody. And then uh, it's so important as much as we want to socialize online, it's so important to socialize as much as possible face to face. And so I would suggest eating at least one meal, dinner with your family every night. And when I say eat dinner with the family, I mean put the phones in the other room so that you are all physically present and emotionally and mentally present with each other. And it's not going to be perfect. You might argue, you, you, you might whine and moan about things, but hopefully you'll have a few good laughs. I know so many families are so much closer because they're taking advantage of this quarantine and they're spending that essential time together uh, with each other. So please block that into your day. And then uh, I'm just going to wrap it up by saying we, we miss you guys. We we are excited about the start of the year, but we miss seeing you. It was like Miss Byrne said, it was so great seeing you over uh, registration. And we can't wait to see you face to face. In the meantime, please continue to take care of yourselves, 
take care of your families, and please continue to look out for each other. Let us know if, if anybody is struggling. We always want to know that. We always want to know if there's a way we can help. And please, everybody, just know that there are so many people on this campus who care about you and want what's best for you and are with you. The GLCs, the teachers, the custodians, the secretaries, the administration, all these people care about you and, and we want what's best for you. All right, we are Brahmas. We're gonna get through this. Go Brahmas.